I'm Alexandra Vitale with BuffaloBills.com. We're here at the Buffalo Bills Alumni Association VIP Gala, where tonight I caught up with a few former Bills players to talk about tonight's events and more. Andre, talk about tonight's events and what makes it so special. Well, I mean, obviously we're here for Ralph and, and the legacy that he has uh, given the NFL and given Western New York. Um, you know, what more can you say about what he's done for this region? what he's done for the whole town, for the NFL. Um, that's why we're here, actually we're celebrating his life, and uh, it'll continue to go on. What I always remember about Mr. Wilson was after the football game, win or lose, he would be right there with us. And we wouldn't, we wouldn't win. He said, keep your head up. Things will get better next week. You always had that word of encouragement. It's exciting to be back again. You know, I've been fortunate enough to come to the, about the last five events, but this is certainly as special as it can get to uh, honor Ralph. And uh, certainly this is a man who not only has been a big factor in your community, but has certainly done a great job, you know, with the Bills and also with the NFL itself. I mean, without Ralph Wilson, I'm not sure the NFL would have progressed to the level they progressed today. What exactly was your relationship with Mr. Wilson like? Oh, it was great. He was a great team owner. He was always out there at practices, uh, games, of course, uh, and he knew every every person individually by name. And and you know, if he was just that humble of a person that you could just walk up to and and, and start talking to him. You know, he was that kind of guy. Tonight's events is uh, something we've been doing for the past 25, 26 years, and uh, the specialty of it is is that. It helps the community. We provide funding to other organizations uh, to help individuals in the community uh, to be able to do the things they need to do with their different programs because a lot of the programs really don't have enough money to operate the way in, in efficiency the way they want to. And we really try to deal with the youth. You know, we try to deal with education and youth. Also is with the wounded warriors. We feel like the wounded warriors is a special group of individuals that's out there across the country that's doing great service to the country, and um, I appreciate it, and I know the rest of the country appreciate it. How special is it to see some of your former teammates? Well, seeing them clowns, you know, and I call them clowns because that's what they are. Uh, it's, it's always good. You know, Alumni Weekend is always a good time to reminisce and how you're doing, what you've been doing the past year, and all that kind of stuff. So it's always good to, uh, to see faces you don't see a lot, and that's, you know, the Bills alumni has done a great job over the past, I don't know, 20, 30 years of of not only bringing guys back together and being a part of the community, but giving back to the community too. And they, they have done a great job at that. All right, tomorrow, Miami and Buffalo. Oh, yeah. 1-0, and both teams, yeah. and you're leading the charge. Talk about that a little bit and how, how exciting that's going to be for you. Well, you know, just with everything that's been happening in the past seven months, I mean, I don't have to reiterate, reiterate and go into what's been going on. You know, this is probably one of the best weekends that Buffalo's having a, had in a long time. Uh, a lot of things happening, a lot of electricity, especially, you know, going to be in the stadium. Uh, I didn't even know I was leading the charge till like two days ago. So I had to uh, do some extra stretching and make sure I don't pull anything. But uh, it's going to be fun. Um, anytime you're in that kind of atmosphere, and I, I felt that many a times here, that, uh, you know, you can't help. You, if you're in the wrong business if you don't get up for a game like this. And it's Miami week. The rivalry isn't what it used to be, but I think uh, with the new owner, we can start new things. You know, when a new owner comes in, we start new things. and. I'm sure the fans are excited. Everybody's excited. I'm excited. All right, Andre Reid, thank you so much. We'll see you on the field tomorrow. Okay, we'll see you.